What's going on today, YouTube? Welcome to Cash Money Chewy. My name is Scott, and I'm coming at you today with another video. First, I want to say Happy New Year to everybody out there. Hope everybody enjoyed their new year. You know, starting this year off, setting a bunch of cool goals. I know I have. <laughs> it's only the second day, but, uh, you know, I'm getting ready, getting pumped, getting hyped for this new year coming up. You know, trying to make this money out here because it's a lot to be made. You just got to be focused, set your goals, and get on them. Now, um, speaking of goals, <laughs> on this Thursday morning, I am stuck in the house, man. It's, it's horrible outside. It's like blizzard conditions around here. I was able to make it out to the uh, to UPS this morning, but, you know, the roads are just too bad. It was too much snow going on. And um, speaking on that, like things I've been doing since my last video, I've been super busy. I had planned on making a bunch of videos by now, but... Um, I got involved with Amazon doing the FBA and that took up <laughs> probably 110% of my time because eBay was, uh, is already is taxing enough. It's a lot of effort to go in and doing stuff on eBay. When you mix in, um, going out doing retail arbitrage and stuff like that for Amazon, that's just the rest of your time. So, but you know, December was crazy and you know, I got a, a couple boxes in before Christmas and in a couple stuff after Christmas. So I got, I got a little bit of that fourth quarter Christmas money. Not as much as some people did, but I got, I got a little, a little, little taste of what's to come. So I'm really excited about that. Now, today's video is a mini, just a mini, mini, super mini little small haul <laughs> that I picked up. And, um, you know, I never really wanted to do haul videos. I mean, you know, I mean, showing shirt after shirt after shirt after shirt of what you got, you know, it's all good. But, um, you know, that's cool, you know, if you want to do that, but, like, I just, I, like, I was like, if I'm going to do a little video on something that I think is really cool, and, like, most people I know that that's out here hustling and reselling, they, they're also collectors, you know what I'm saying, they, they out there, could because they looking for something that they love also, like, me personally, when I'm out picking and hustling and hitting up stuff, I'm looking for stuff that I like to collect, and one of those things I like to collect is board games, and toys from the 80s because you know what i mean it's like childhood bring back good memories you know what i'm saying so whenever i whenever i see some stuff like that i immediately know how much it's worth <laughs> and I, I i grab it you know a lot of times i grab it for myself you know if i have a bunch of whatever i'm looking for i grab it i hustle it on craigslist or ebay you know but um yesterday you know it was new year's day when a lot of stuff opened yesterday but uh, we, I got three Salvation Armies in my area, and they all were doing 50% off everything for the day. And, and uh, my Salvation Army, I really don't um, get clothes from them because the prices are just crazy high. Even on half-off days, the prices are crazy high. Like, for example, I went to the one uh, one yesterday, and they I, I, like, I love buying jerseys, number one. And uh, they had a... Um, a Calvert Chaney, because I'm a, I'm I'm a, I'm an Indiana Hoosier, so I'm a big Hoosier fan. They have a, a Calvert Chaney, Washington Bullets, uh, size 44 champion jersey. But uh, it, they wanted 50 bucks for it. Half off it was 25. So I was like, this is. It was fucking ridiculous. I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> so I ended up not getting it. I, I mean, I kind of regret it now. But damn, $25 at the Goodwill. $50 on a regular day and 25 at the, on the Goodwill. I mean, sorry, at the Salvation Army, that's just ridiculous. So I skipped on that. But, but that's how it is. But anyway, this Salvation Army, I really, I never get clothes. I like going on a half off day because they get a lot of stuff from Target. And I get like books and CDs and stuff there. I really never buy clothes from them unless it's something that's really good and it's at the right price. But anyway, to the haul. I was at the Salvation Army, right? And I found three awesome board games. Now, if you don't know a lot about board games, um, this is a quick thing for you. This is a, this is going to be some some pretty cool games. So I want you to check these out. All right, the first one I found was this one right here. It's a uh, Risk. And Castle Risk. Let's see, check it out. Wait, up, oh, back it up a little bit. Bam. Risk and Castle Risk. It's a pretty cool game. It's two in one. Um, I've been looking for this for me personally for a while. Um, they sell pretty well on eBay, but this is actually a pretty cool game to have. You are a game collector. You need this game and Fireball Island in your collection to say you're a game collector. But hold up, here it is. Hero Quest. Man, <laughs> I had one of these before and I sold it, sadly. 
And, um, get a good look at it. You guys can see Hero Quest. Oop. Check out the back. Pull it back a little bit. Into the into the world of the Hero Quest, if you dare. This game is awesome. And, uh, me and my cousins used to spend hours playing this. And it's not that old. I think it came out in 80, 89. I mean, I'm sorry, not 80, 89. 90 or 89. <laughs> but, uh, this is an awesome game. And it is, this is real sought after. And this game, this one right here is complete in the box. Everything is in here. Um, which is real rare to find because this game has a lot of pieces, so it's, it's real rare to find one that's all the way together. Um, on eBay, they sell for about 200 complete. Um, sometimes you'll find them, you know, most of the times you'll find them incomplete. And people will buy them and piece together to make them a complete set. But um, I don't, I'm torn on this one. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or I'm going to sell it. Who knows? <laughs> but this is a great find. And like I said, if you know anything about board games, you know this is one of the games. That if you say you're a collector, this game is in your collection. I'm still looking for Fireball Island, so if anybody know where Fireball Island at and it's not crazy price, let me know, please. <laughs> All right, I'm in the little mini haul video right there. Um, I want to say thanks, guys, for people that have been subscribing. You know, I haven't been making videos, but <laughs> I plan on making videos going forward a bunch. Um, I've worked out a schedule with my time to keep everything together so I don't get all off track no more because, you know, it's just me out here hustling by myself. I wish I could hire some, hire some employees or something, but I am too stingy with my money to be hiring anybody. <laughs> but, but, uh, before I go, I want to give a shout out to Mike, man, this dude, um, Global Voodoo. If you haven't checked out this dude's channel, you need to get on it, man. Because not only his channel, but his website, pickforprofit.com, is one of the things that put me on. I'm telling you right now. You check out this brother right here because um, and a lot of people on YouTube, a lot of clowns, me included on YouTube. <laughs> I, I, you know, but it, 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 he out here putting out really good stuff for real, man. So uh, check him out. Check out his website. Um, because if, if you want to make money, this is the brother you need to holler at. All right, guys. Thank you for stopping by. This ran a little long. <laughs> um, check me out. Check out my other video. Subscribe, like, comment, all that jazz. Thanks, guys. You have a great day. Peace.